our ratings have evolved. Our website has evolved. Check out the redesigned supermarketguru.com and let me know what you think. Same great food news, product reviews, and recipes. Just a brand new look. Today, more of our readers and viewers are concerned about the environment and our impact on sustainability, and of course, the effect on agriculture, as are we. So it's time for us to update our rating systems. Starting this week, we're adding a brand new category to criteria, sustainability, for five points, and revising preparation down to five points. The total possible score remains at 100. Rising stars are 95 and above, hits 85 plus, and misses a score of 70 and below. A Mama Veggie Yo Butternut Squash Flavor Yogurt is a hit. Now, last year, we ate over $3.5 billion of yogurt just here in the U.S., and many food pundits predict that that's just the beginning of the yogurt boom. Now, we're starting to see more innovative yogurt products on the supermarket shelves these days. Veggie Yo is one of those, and they're focusing on the flavors of vegetables. The butternut squash flavor, it tastes great. It's got a great balance between the flavor of the yogurt and the vegetable itself. I applaud that this company actually lists right on the package the active live cultures. In fact, this is one terrific product. My only complaint being the consistency of the yogurt itself, which is really a little too thin. Another great thing about this product is the fact that even though it's not a low-fat product, it contains only three grams of fat. One last note to the company, redesign the package. This great product is hiding itself behind a bland, unappealing facade. Retails for about a buck fifty. The total score is 91. Culture in Chilean olive oil with Merkin. Merkin? It's otherwise known as the goat's horn, which is a flavor combination of smoky, similar to chipotle, and hot chili pepper. I love infused olive oils when they're done right. The idea of this extra virgin olive oil is a good one. This product has a nice aroma coming from the spice. However, I have two big issues with this product. The first is that in order to properly disperse the spices, you need a whole lot of shaking going on. And the second is that the olive flavor actually drowns out the flavor of the spice. It retails for about 10 bucks. Total score is 83. Orville Redenbacher's Lime and Salt Popcorn is a hit. Who doesn't love popcorn? And let's not forget that popcorn is a whole grain, so it's also good for us. Over the years, some very strange popcorn flavors have appeared on the supermarket shelves. Well, this one makes it all go away. This product is fabulous. Orville Redenbacher has got it right. And this lime flavored, mildly salted popcorn is fabulous. Now, my only complaint about this product is the use of palm oil and the 15 total grams of total fat per serving, which includes seven grams of saturated fat. Okay, my only two complaints about this product. Retails for $2.69 for 10 bags. Total score is 92. Green Giant Valley Fresh Steamers Broccoli and Cheese Sauce. Surprisingly enough, the taste of this broccoli and cheese sauce from the folks that bring us Green Giant is delicious. And surprisingly, it's lower in fat than you might think, just four and a half grams for the entire bag. Now, the recipe for the sauce includes a variety of cheeses and oils to make sure that it stays fluid instead of congealing. Although the bag does cook the product perfectly in the microwave, it's cumbersome, and it's a messy package, unlike a lot of the other steamer product packages that are out there. Retails for $239, the total score is $79. Hola Fruta! Pure fruit sherbet margarita is a hit. Now, I grew up in an Italian town in New Jersey where the local hangout was, of course, Jackie's Lemon Ice. So I'm prejudiced. I like light-tasting, flavorful desserts. Ola Fruta margarita is exactly that, but there is no tequila in here. Even though it's milk-based product, it is much closer to a sorbet than a gelato. The thing to note here, though, is that while the product appears to have a strong Spanish heritage, it's actually made in Cleveland. Retails for $3.99. The total score is 92. 
For more information, log on to supermarketguru.com. New episodes upload every Wednesday right here.